Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about new enhancements to Acumatica 2022 R1 with regards to email. So if we open up a support case and we go to activities, we'll create a new email and we'll talk a little bit about the changes. So the first thing is, is Acumatica no longer requires you to have a two field in there. Now, of course, it's an email and you're going to send it to somebody. But in certain situations, first off, you might only send a CC or a BCC to keep all the recipients secret. But now you have the ability to save this and maybe you just do it for draft purposes. You know, you're not ready to actually send it. You want to leave this blank so that it doesn't accidentally go out. So that's the first thing. The other thing is, and I'll go back and I'll create an email here. And it used to be that when you were trying to attach a file to your email, you, know, you could drag and drop. It's pretty convenient. Acumatica would prompt you to save the email. And it was a little bit obtrusive. So, for example, if we go to drag something over here, Notice Acumatica automatically saves it. It doesn't require that I have to click a button to do that. And I could tell you from experience using Acumatica and sending out emails, that is something that definitely it makes the whole process more efficient. The other thing is Acumatica has changed this select source it used to be to select template. It makes a lot more sense. Select template can be pulled from the template repository in Acumatica. So templates make more sense here. This allows us to find an email template, anything, and we could select the template and it'll insert it into the body and it'll put in and fill in all the dynamic fields that we want. For example, this is waiting for input and it's to Amelia. So this template can actually include Amelia in the top of the body of the message so that it looks more personalized. The other thing you could do when you do a lookup here, Acumatica shows us the contact and the email address, and of course you could search on it, but Acumatica now shows you the type. And this could be very helpful because sometimes you may have a contact, a similar contact in different buckets, and you may want to select the appropriate entity from wherever they are. And th this is important because this activity will show up against that specific entity. So it may be very important to you. And of course, this shows everything from contact to salesperson to employee and lead. I think salesperson may be new, but I'm not sure. And you can simply select which one you want. Additionally, under email preferences, customers have asked us for this for a long time. We now have the ability to send user emails immediately. So assuming this isn't under suspend, right here, it allows us, instead of the emails going out on a sync, so normally you'd have a scheduler, and the scheduler would be every minute or every few minutes. Outbound emails, a lot of customers said to us, well, you know, we really want our emails to go out immediately. It's okay that we can bring in new emails every couple of minutes or minute, but sending out emails should go out instantly. So this new feature accomplishes that. Acumatica has also relabeled a lot of these inquiry screens. So you can see you have incoming drafts sent, outgoing, deleted, and archived. And if we take a look and we go to outgoing, we talked about this in another video of how we now have a side panel. But as you're reading these emails and you're moving through this, Acumatica will mark these as read now. So we're tracking the read status of emails to make it a lot easier for you to manage your inbound emails and see whether or not you've gone through them. So there you have it. That's email updates to Acumatica 2022 R1. You're looking to set up email and you have some questions about it. Feel free to reach out to us. We can help you. Additionally, we have some other videos on email, SendGrid, and other setups. 
But thanks so much for watching our video and subscribing to our channel. If you like the video, please click like. And thanks again and have a great day.